Alright then gang, so in this video I want to show you how we can start to flesh out our form in Vuetify. Now when it comes to making forms in Vuetify, there's absolutely loads of different things that we can do, really cool things as well. And to cover all of that would probably take me about 30 lessons in a separate series, so I'm not going to do all of that. Instead what I'm going to do is get you up and running and show you how to create a couple of simple fields, like a text field and a text area, and in the next video as well, also a date picker. But if you want to learn more, just check out the documentation. It is really thorough. And like I said, there's loads of cool things you can do with forms. But let's start out basic now. So let's go to the pop-up component. And we already have the card title inside the card. Now we need the card text, the actual content of the card. So let's do V hyphen card hyphen text. And inside here, this is where our form is going to go. Now in Beautify, when we're making a form, we use the component first of all, v hyphen form all right now i'm going to give this a class just to give it some breathing room and that is going to be px hyphen three just to give it some padding left and right in the x direction so then first of all i want a text field so we don't use input or anything like that we use a separate component provided by beautify which is just v hyphen text hyphen field like so now what i'm going to do is give this a label and set that equal to title and we'll just preview this first of all in a browser so click add new project and now we can see that input field right there and if we click on it it does that nice little animation with our primary color so that's nice that's taken as one line of code right there to do and it comes baked with that functionality like so so that is our text field now what i'd like to do is store what a user types into this text field so to do that, I can use a V hyphen model. And again, this isn't a beautify thing now. This is just a standard view thing. So V model makes, allows us to sync the value of an input field with our data. And we're going to set it equal to a property called title. So let's place that in here, title. And then let's create the data down here, data, like so, and return an object. And inside this object, we'll specify title, and that's going to be an empty string to begin with. So now when a user types in here, if they type in test, then we're going to be storing that on our object down here. All right. So that's the first one done. The next one I'd like to do is the text area. So we'll say this time V hyphen, and it's text area, like so. And this also can have a label. So we'll say label is equal to, and we'll just say information. So information about the project. So if we save that again now, let's view this in a browser, like so. We can see this information, and it's a text area, so a bit deeper, and we can also expand this as well. And that's nice, as we expand it, it makes the actual pop-up bigger. So that's really good. Okay, so again, I wanna store what a user writes in here, so we'll use a V model to do that, and set that equal to info or rather we'll set it equal to content. So let's store that down here as well. And again, this will be an empty string to begin with. So now we have these two input fields. Now what would be nice is if we could have a little icon on the left of each one. So on the left of title, it could be some kind of folder um, like this over here. And also in the information, maybe a little pencil or something like that. So let's do that. Now we don't have to use a V icon component to do this. When we're using text fields, Beautify knows that a lot of the time we want to prepend an icon to the text fields or the text areas or whatever input field it might be. So they allow us to use a prop on these different components called prepend hyphen icon. And we set that equal to whatever the icon name is. So much like we used things like folder in the nav bar or edit or whatever it is, we can use that here. So let me type in folder and then down here, we'll do the same thing. We'll prepend an icon and this one is going to be edit, which is a pencil. So again, I got these from the material icons website, I'm not just making them up. And if we save that now and view this, you can see the title and the information. And if we click on this again, it goes purple, which is really nice. All right then, so that's those two fields right here. What I'm gonna do now is just a submit field at the bottom, and that is gonna be a button. So then, at the bottom of the form, we'll do V hyphen BTN. Now this is gonna be a flat button, and the text is gonna be add project. So add 
project like so. Now, what I'd like to do is give this a class, first of all, equal to success to make it that green color. And also give this a class of MX0 to strip away any margin in the X direction and MT, which is the margin top three to give it some margin top as well. Save that and view it. And we can see that button now at the bottom. That's nice. Okay, so we need a click event on this button so that when we click it, we can take what a user has typed in and do something with that information. So down here, let us create some methods. And in these methods, I want to create a method called submit. And this submit method at the minute is just going to log out the information that a user has typed in. So we can say console.log and we'll log out this.title and also this.content, which are these two properties. Remember, as a user types into here, it's updating these properties. So we're going to log those out when a user clicks on this button. So we need to attach that event now. So at click and set that equal to submit like so. Oops, spell this correctly. Submit. OK, so now when we click that, it's going to fire this function and log these to the console. So let's just test this out. So title test and hello and then click this. Now, if we inspect over here and open up the console, then we see this error, but don't worry about that. We see this right here. If I refresh over here, then we shouldn't get that error. I'm going to just add a new project and do this again. Test and hello, submit, and we get those logged to the console without the error. All right. So there we go, my friends. That is a very, very simple form with icons to the left of these different input fields. So in the next video, what we'll do is a third field, and that is going to be a date picker to specify the due date of this project.